guys, it's Misa. A lot of you have been asking how I have been doing um, unicorn spit gel stain on these fun new kind of distance ornaments. So I just thought I would do a quick video and show you um, how easy it is. So what I have is just a bunch of different, oops, a bunch of different colors of unicorn um, spit gel stain, some of the glitter, some of the regular. And then I just have some Costco brand baby wipes. Um, so just a wet baby wipe. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take my favorite color of unicorn spit, which is this um, blue thunder, and just a little tiny bit on the baby wipe. Like hardly any at all. Okay, so let's do this one. Okay, so it's kind of, I'm gonna kind of try to spread it out a little bit so that I don't get any big glops on here. So I'm just gonna put it on the whole ornament. Um, when I start wiping, I'll find out really quickly which direction the grain is going. I think if I go that way, I'll hit the grain. So I wanna go with the grain and not pull up a bunch. So, just rubbing it on. And I can use a clean portion of the baby wipe and that'll even lighten it up a little bit if I need to do that. So I'm not being super careful, just rubbing it on. Okay, so then I want to do some like, like an ombre fade up the bottom. So I'm going to do this just on the same baby wipe, same color, a tiny bit of this like pink glitter. All right, and then just kind of dab it on a little bit. So where I start at the bottom is the like highest concentration of pigment. So I'm gonna start here and then I'm just gonna kind of slightly rub upwards to blend it. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. I always start with a little and then if you decide you want more, it's much less messy if you start with too much than if you start with too much. So kind of just tapping it on a little bit and then just kind of lightly swiping until I get the kind of blend that I like. All right, and then let's just for fun do the same kind of deal at the top. So I'm gonna get just a clean spot of my baby white, just a tiny bit of purple. Okay, I'm making sure there's no big gloppy spots. And then I'll start at the top here. And just kind of rub it in till I get what I like. So if you start a little and then just work it the direction you want it to fade. Okay. And so that will be fun for just putting on so love for your dog all right just for fun I'll do one more different color so new baby wipe let's do all over with this pink this is sparkling Sasha okay just unicorn spit on a baby wipe okay So just rubbing it on, that's it. You don't need to get the wood wet already because the baby wipe is already a little wet. So that helps the pigment spread onto the wood. So you can see I'm not being super careful. Just want it on, putting it all over. And then for fun, let's go ahead and add this um, golden gosling for the second color. All right, so just a little bit more on the baby white. All right, tap, tap, tap at the bottom. And then just start to fade up. All right, I think I want a little bit more pink on the top, kind of a more clean area of the baby wipe, okay, and then a little darker here. This is so great, it's easy to blend, 
and um, you can layer to, to darken your pigments or you can always take like a wet cloth or a wet baby wipe, a uh, clean one, and then go back over and take pigment off a little bit too. All right, so same with this one. And then you can just add your little guys here. Little kitty paw. All right. All right, and then once it's dry, you'll just um, use some tongue oil or other some sort of oil-based finish um, to go ahead and seal it. And now my kid really needs help with her movie, so I gotta run. Thanks, guys.